Hi, I'm Alexandria. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're just finding me for the first time today. I'm about to channel the my my collective that I connect with, um, the Ascended Masters and Angels. And um, so I've dropped down into my heart center and I have some questions from a viewer who's on the other line who's going to uh, help me out today by asking me these questions while I'm in channel so I can present the answers to you right here. So just taking a few deep breaths and bringing your awareness down into your heart center so that you're in the perfect place to receive the wisdom from the wise ones. So Charles, what do you have for me today? Okay. First question. So let us just begin by saying we are so happy to be here with you and happy to address this and any other questions. So the question is how to release shame and blame. And was there a third aspect to this question? And self-judgment. And self-judgment. Shame, blame, and self-judgment. Well, these are all linked together. If you feel into this question, you'll notice that they have a, a similar vibration. They, they, they have a vibrational frequency that is very similar. Shame, blame, self-judgment. Particularly shame and self-judgment are very linked. They're basically two words for the same thing. And blame is simply projecting that onto another. It's their fault. You're feeling this way because of them. So it's very much pointing the finger. But if you've ever noticed when you're pointing the finger, you have others pointing right back to you as well. So how to heal this? You will get very tired of having the same answer, but the answer is to bring love, to bring love to yourself and to that aspect of yourself that is currently feeling wounded, is currently feeling alone, unloved, unlovable. It's a painful place to be. So we come back to your bringing you to, to remember that you are love. You are so loved. You are a being of light and love and you are here for a great purpose. So when you are feeling, let us begin with the blame, sort of shame rather, and self-judgment. When you're experiencing that, you were in a very low vibrational frequency. Not that you're gonna be stuck there forever, although it may feel that way, but it is a lower vibration. And when you were in this lower frequency, you were in a match everything else of that frequency. So not very pleasant things generally. Unfortunate things are associated with that level because you, but, but the hopeful aspect of this is your attraction power while you're in this lower frequency is not at its highest. It is, it's, it's not very powerful. This is why you feel, you'll see, you'll feel disempowered and you'll notice other people who are also into, locked into self-judgment or locked into shame. It is a very low frequency and you'll notice that their lives aren't going very well, generally speaking. They could be battling illnesses. They could be dealing with mental health issues. They are basically not very happy because they have cut themselves off from source. You are of the light. You are from source. But you have free will. And so you are able to cut yourself off. You are able to say, no, that, that is for someone else. That's not for me because I am not lovable. I am clearly not worthy of experiencing this great love from source. I am not worthy of having what I want, doing what I want, feeling love for myself or others. 
this is only because you're in such a low vibration. So one of the quickest ways to begin to raise your vibration is to engage the body. Your body is your helper. Your body is, you could think of your body as your guide and your teacher throughout this journey. Your body likes to move. Your body likes to have freshly oxygenated blood pumping through it. Your body likes to be walking or dancing or swimming or doing anything that just bring as much movement to yourself as you can. Even contracting and releasing muscles is going to start to activate that freshness. And that freshness brings with it a fresh perspective. And you will notice that you feel a little better. You're feeling better than you did before. We could say with such certainty that a body in motion is a body that is happier. A body is happier when it is moving. And so that effortlessly raises your frequency. So we would add to that. Perhaps while you're walking, perhaps some very empowering statements you could repeat to yourself, some beautiful affirmations where you could say, I am loved. I am loving. I am love. I am worthy and deserving. I am a being of light. I am of great importance. I am here to heal the world. And another aspect of this is when you project yourself, when you're feeling that shame, when you're feeling that self-judgment, it tends to bottle you up and, and it becomes all you can see and all you can feel. So if you start expanding your horizon a little bit and you see like, what can I do that's helpful? Maybe as I'm walking along, I'm seeing there's some litter that's been discarded on the side of the road. <clears throat> so perhaps I'll walk back home and, and maybe get a rubber glove and a, and a bag so that I can pick some of this up. Now you're feeling you're being of service. You're contributing. You're making the world a better place. That will raise your vibration even more. And then you can think of, there may be something in your life that's making you feel like it's not going right. Maybe you feel shame because you feel you did something. So let us look for the opposite of that. Let us look for what am I doing right in the world? What, what do I feel I've been a success at? Maybe I brought beautiful children into the world. Maybe I'm a, a caregiver for some beautiful animals. Or I am just being of value simply by holding a higher vibration. So all of these things as you think them and make that your, your mission for the day to raise your vibration and feel a little more positive. Because the longer you stay in that state of inertia, it is, is not a healthy place to be for your body or your mind, and certainly not for your spirit. So by taking some of these actions, and having, being good to yourself, being gentle with yourself. It's okay if you want to just wrap yourself up in a blanket and, and snuggle on the couch for a little while or, or even to have a good cry. But let your mission be to move out of this state, gradually, gradually moving yourself up and out using some of these techniques that we've, met, that we've mentioned. But also, looking for what is good within yourself or in the world and and what you feel about yourself is being reflected back to you from your outer world because there is no outer there is no out there out there it is all you it is all on the inside so deciding what do i like about myself what is of value right now what what do i like or what do people say to me Am I, do I, am I really, besides that thing that I'm feeling shame about, is there anything I've done that's, that's a good thing? So looking for that, shining the spotlight. You're sitting in the darkness. So shine the flashlight around and see, and you might see, oh, I was a really loving son or daughter to, to my parent. Or I was, a, you know, I'm, I'm a really good friend. I'm a really good brother or sister. So making that your, and, and it doesn't matter. You, there's nothing you have done that can sever the love that you're receiving from source. And remind yourself too that anything you've done 
or has been done to you has bring blame back in anything you have done or has been done to you has brought you to where you are right now life is not happening to you it is happening for you so perhaps something has come up just to help you raise up you know kick those negative feelings to the curb and raise your frequency even more so we would say it comes back to love it comes back to loving even one who you are currently feeling blamed toward there's an old very apt expression that uh, feeling holding a grudge is like feeding um, taking rat poison and expecting the rat to die and you can see how silly that is really when we when we think talk about that it's like drinking rat poison hoping hoping that that will cause the rat to die so if you're blaming you're carrying these painful feelings inside of you meanwhile it has no impact whatsoever on the one that you are feeling the to blame toward but you've turned it around into into hurting yourself and that's reason enough to release <clears throat> so let those feelings go ask your angels call on, try to see them from a place of love recognize that we are all players here and that there have been times when you have been the one that someone else would blame we're all just here to help each other heal and so that person that you're perhaps blaming right now he's they she have brought this up to the surface because it wants to be released it doesn't want to to stay in your body your body is transforming you are cultivating more and more of a light body and these these dark feelings have no place in you anymore so set them free set them free let them come to the surface and even tell these this blame or this guilt whatever it is you're feeling I release you with love and I thank you for bringing me to this place where I am now. Thank you for bringing me here, higher than I was before. Thank you for allowing me to recognize that this is still playing out within me. And as long as it is, it will always play out in my external world also. So thank you for making this so evident so that I can release it and let it go. This is a beautiful practice to do while you're calm and relaxed, but we would encourage you even to write it out in a journal, write out. Sometimes it's good just to get it out. You might just even dedicate to why am I angry? Why am I holding blame toward this person? And write it, write it out. Write them a letter that you will never send them. Write that letter out and then you can burn it or fold it up and put it in a bowl of water, drown those feelings simply throw them away and know that you are free of it now you are cleansed you are released and then anytime those thoughts come up again remind yourself and say this is coming up because it is a it is a pattern of thought that is revisiting it is returning to me this is because I need to shift gears in my brain so then you can reiterate I don't think like that anymore I have cleared this now this has no place this has no place in me and let it go and be diligent it may come up again no doubt it will but each time you take it through this process of releasing you are going to be clearer and clearer it is like well it is fall here right now and so many people with ponds including our channel are clearing them out and they look clear until you start taking the leaves and debris that have settled over the past month or so and then it gets very very muddled and it looks very very dark and you, all it looks like is one big mess but even as you take scoop after scoop taking it out taking it out gradually that pond becomes clear so even though it looked really really murky really muddy and perhaps mucky that's all there to to let you know just to take it out and be rid of it so it can take persistence 
but we encourage that anyway. And if you follow these steps, you can free yourself of, of anything. Just keep reminding yourself that there is nothing you have ever done that has ever been done to you or that you ever could do that would that would make you any less in the eyes of source. So just holding yourself in that place of love and telling yourself, I love you, I forgive you, I love you, I love you. Nothing has gone wrong here. There's been no wrongdoing. There's really nothing to forgive because nothing has gone wrong. And when you're able to forgive yourself and you are able to forgive others, Is that helpful? Yes, that was very helpful. Thank you for that wonderful answer. And that uh, is our only question for today. So we thank you very much for being here with us, giving you, our, giving you the wisdom we need. Thank you. And we thank you. I appreciate the energy that you bring to this call. And just to let everyone everyone listening or watching this you have so much love and support there are so many angels with you now and we are sending beams of love we love you we love you and we are always with you and for now we are